Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, hello guys. Good evening. How are you? Hello, teacher. How are you today, guys? I'm um, well. Very good. What about you, Daniel? <laughs> I'm fantastic today. Great. Thank you. Yes. Thank you for joining on time, guys. We will just start in one minute, okay? Okay. Guys, while the other ones are joining the class, um, I will ask you to please do me a favor and uh, uh, let's go ahead and start going to the page. Let me see, page. Page 22, okay? Page 22. And I will ask you to please, guys, let's go ahead and have a review about yesterday's grammar. Because we will use it a lot today, guys. So we better have a review about this. Let me share the screen so we can do it. One moment. Okay, great, here we have it. All right, so guys, do me a favor and let's go ahead and start just reviewing this about the would be better plus infinitive while the other ones are joining, okay? Because we will do the next, next activity in pairs and I need everyone to be on the class. So I really need to wait for them. So let's go ahead and just, sorry, let's go ahead and just start, uh, sorry, let's go ahead and just review the grammar, the structure of would be better. And also would it be, be wouldn't it better too? And it would be good if. Those three are structure, okay? While the other ones are joining guys, thank you.
sorry, hello, hello. <clears throat> Me escuchan, guys. Yes, teacher. Ahora sí, yes, teacher. teacher. Ahora sí. Ahorita no. Ahorita no. Ahora sí. Ah, ok. We are 12 right now. Mm, ok. Let's see. Okay, um, I will go ahead and explain, I mean, have this review about the would be better too. And while the other ones are joining, we will create the breakout rooms, okay? So we can start practicing on the scramble sentences. But for right now, we will have this review, all right? While the other ones are joining, are joining sorry. So, um, guys, yesterday we were talking about would be better to. We say that this structure is in order to express a strong advice or suggestion. Okay. And basically, uh, you said that also should is similar to this structure, right? Because it also gives suggestion. So, in that case, guys, the difference between should and between would be better to is basically at the level of politeness or the level of the the level of how how formal you sound in a sentence. Um <clears throat> sorry, that will depend on where are you and what environment you are or with whom you are talking about, with whom you are talking, sorry. So if you're talking with your family, with your friends, you will be used in should, all right? This is for no, in order for you to give advices and suggestions. But if you are talking about preferences, a strong advice or suggestion with your boss in your work, in a meeting, okay, or with a person that you don't know, you might be a little bit more polite, all right? So if you are more polite, then that means that you will be using will be better, okay? That means that you will be using will be better. As well, there is another way of saying will be better, which is will be good if, all right, will be good if, that is another structure that you will be using which is a similar with would be better. Just be careful when you are doing the sentence because would be better too is plus infinitive. For example, it would be better to let the manager take care of the situation, okay? You have would be better plus infinitive, okay? While in the other, on the other hand, would be good if we have here, the word if, and then we have the next sentence. Mostly, this structure is used whenever you have a past here. Because, sorry, because in, in, in Spanish, it's like, um, hubiera sido bueno, o fuera bueno si tú tuvieras. Sorry, eh, fuera bueno, de hecho. Fuera bueno si tú tuvieras un profesional. Entonces, si ese tuviera, <coughs> perdón, ese tuviera no está en presente. Y sin past, por eso es que ponemos aquí el pasado. Lo podemos poner en pasado, lo podemos poner en presente. Do not worry, ¿ok? So, here we have two structures, ¿ok? Similar structures. And then we have this structure in question and in negative, okay? It is like in Spanish, no sería mejor, y luego el complemento. So this will be, wouldn't it, wouldn't it better to, wouldn't it better to let the manager take care of this situation? Wouldn't it better to have a professional to complete the manual, okay? 
wouldn't it better to have a professional to complete the menu? Okay. Es muy diferente decir, ¿verdad? No es, no, no fuera bueno que un profesional, uh, si tuviéramos, perdón, no fuera bueno si, eh, perdón, no fuera bueno si, si tuviéramos un profesional para completar el manual, que sería esa estructura, no es igual. En mini, en significado, sí es lo mismo, ok, pero en escritura no es lo mismo si yo digo no fuera bueno o no fuera mejor, de hecho aquí sería no fuera mejor eh, tener un profesional para completar el, el, el manual. Básicamente es lo mismo que queremos decir, ok? Pero make sure guys that whenever you have would be good if, nosotros tenemos, no tenemos acá un infinitivo, sino que tenemos una acción completa. Mientras que el wouldn't be better to, si hay un infinitivo después. Let's do something, guys. Let's do something. Let's go ahead and um, we are the same. We are 14. Okay, let's go ahead and practice now this structure, okay? It would be good. It would be good if we have a professional to complete the manual. So, guys, nosotros tenemos aquí el would be good if plus one sentence más una oración, digamos. Este es el, 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 la frase el would be good if más una oración que lleva sujeto, verbo y predicado. ¿Sí? Sujeto, verbo y predicado. Hagamos este ejemplo con este verbo en pasado. ¿Ok? En pasado. Bird in past. Mándeme todos una oración, please, al WhatsApp con un ejemplo de would be good if. Please, guys. Bird in past. ¿Ok? Let's go ahead and send sentences in WhatsApp. Ángel Estefanía, Cristian, Daniel, Luis Alberto, Kenny, Julio César, José René, Marcos Amilcar, María Dinora, María Vanessa, Osvin Alexis, Daniel Ezequiel, Daniel Arquímedes, please, guys. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Let's do this right now. And uh, let me get one moment. Let me see your messages. Just one second. Okay, I try to understand. So, had is the verb, verb in past. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Is the verb in past. Let me get a second. So. Let me had, put the, the formula here. Vamos a poner como la formula, como la que está arriba. Had is the, the, is have in past. In past. Sí, porque ahí ah, estamos okay. diciendo, eh, fuera bueno o, o sí. Si fuera bueno, sí. Si, fuera bueno si tuviéramos un profesional. Entonces es subject. Let me get a second. Plus would be good. Would be good if. Plus, eh, acá vamos a poner, guys, mm, we had a professional to have a independent clause, ¿ok? Cuando yo diga, guys, una clause independiente, una independent clause, significa que tenemos una oración completa, ¿ok? ¿Qué significa que dentro de esta independent clause nosotros tenemos sujeto? Verbo y predicado. Subject, verb, and complement. ¿Ok? Eso significa independent clause. 
subject verb in complement. Por eso lo voy a dejar así, ¿ok? Entonces tenemos subject, sujeto de la oración. Would be good if plus independent clause, ¿ok? Y el, el verbo acá lo vamos a poner en pasado, ¿ok? Para hacerle, sorry, has, ¿sí? Let's make a, an example. Vamos a hacer un ejemplo rapidito. Before you send me one um, example. Vamos a poner. It would be good if. Independent clause. Subject. Give me a subject, guys. Deme un subject. She. She. A verb. Take An another way, another way. Take okay, taking pass. Uh, took, took. Uh -huh. It would be bad, it would be good if she uh, took okay. Uh, another class of basic English. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Another another course, let me put it. Another course, okay. It would be good if she took another course, okay? It would be good if she took another course. So, eh, let me see one moment. Ese, um, Daniel, Daniel, Daniel Alquimides. ¿Cómo entendemos esta oración si lo leemos así, Daniel Arquímedes? ¿Cómo lo entiende? It could be good if. Eh, fuera bueno si nosotros enviamos las respuestas en la forma correcta. Así lo entendería yo. No, took another course? Daniel is about the sentence in oh, the... the blue one, <laughs> the blue sentence. Sorry, sorry. The blue sentence. This <laughs> one. <laughs> sorry, this one. I took, oh about, my God. I took you about my sentence that ah, I sent. Okay, this one. Oh, sorry. <laughs> ya vamos a leer yes. las otras. Ejemplo, sorry. Okay, okay. It, uh, como lo entendí, era more. It would be a good if she took another. Fuera bueno si ella tomara, tomara mm -hmm. otro curso. Yes, very good. I understand. Ajá, uh -huh. good. Mm -hmm. Entonces, este, este verbo, guys, que le sigue a la independent clause que tenemos acá, a este, tiene que ser eh, el verbo este, ¿verdad? Tiene que estar en pasado y ese es como que tomara, caminara, tuviera, eligiera, etcétera, ¿ok? Este básicamente es, ¿all right? So, let me, let me see your examples, guys. I will see your examples right now. One moment. Okay, it says, um, one moment, guys. Um, let me see. Ya vamos a leer los, los ejemplos. Let's continue sending the examples, please. Okay, let me let me read the examples you have. I have it will be good if we send the sentences in correct form. Mm -hmm. Oh, send very good. It will be good if we send this very good. Good job, good job. Okay, next one. Um, thank you, Ezekiel. Very important the formula, okay? Very important to have it. Se fijan que con la fórmula uno se orienta más, ¿sí? Y eso que ahorita la acabamos de hacer. Next. 
Ah, uh, hello. Oh, I'm a listener. Okay, next. Uh, it would be good if my brother. It would be good if my brother. Esa la vamos a modificar. Dice, it would be good if my brother played. Played. Ese sería en pasado, José. Played. Con la ED, okay. sin la T-O. ¿Por sí, qué? Tenía, tenía mi duda, Por, así que sí me porque, faltaba. Ah, porque acá no tenemos infinitivo. En esa estructura no tiene infinitivo. ¿verdad? Okay. En esa estructura no tenemos. Eh, if my brother played soccer. Uh -huh. Okay. It would be good if we started English when we were, uh -huh, when we were children. Sería, when we were children. Mm, déjeme ver esta. Lo voy, lo voy a analizar de nuevo. Oh, acá, eh, Vanessa, siempre, guys, Acuérdense que esta oración que estamos haciendo siempre se mantiene en presente. ¿Sí? Nosotros sí. siempre estamos hablando de la oración en presente, por eso es it would be good if. Lo ponemos en pasado, nada más la cláusula. ¿Sí? Entonces, pero al final, fíjese que acá tenemos doble cláusula en una oración. Acá tenemos una independiente y después tenemos una una dependiente dentro de la otra. O sea que su fórmula sería de su oración, Vanessa, es así, mire. Tenemos más, más dependent clause. Entonces, depend, dependent. Entonces acá, eh, la hace más larga usted, ¿verdad? Pero, it does, I mean, it doesn't mean it's wrong, está bien. Solamente que como la otra ya no es parte de la independent clause, volvemos al presente. ¿sí? Entonces acá queremos dar a entender, sería bueno si nosotros estudiáramos inglés cuando estamos pequeños. ¿sí? Ajá. Cuando bueno, estábamos, quería decir, teacher. Ajá, pero como ahí sí cambia completamente a una sugerencia, tal vez pasa a ser a pasada. La sugerencia Ajá. pasada y tenemos que modificar toda la oración. Ok, teacher. Entonces, es mejor dejarlo English. Sería mejor si nosotros estudiáramos. Acuérdese que esto es como algo que usted está deseando, pero en realidad no se puede, pues. Okay. Dice, ajá, entonces, it would be good if we started English when we are children. Uh -huh. no, eh, sería bueno si estudiáramos inglés cuando... Cuando somos, cuando somos niños, ¿verdad? Ajá. Sí, cuando, sí. Cuando somos niños, exacto. Vamos a ver la otra. Sería, um, it would be good if I had a lot of, if I had a lot of material to study English. Very good, great. It would be good if you saw a doctor. Uh -huh. Si vieras un doctor, exacto. Siempre, guys, que ustedes lo están diciendo en presente, pero le están diciendo, sería bueno, René, que me hiciera la oración en negativa. ¿Ok? Que me hiciera. ¿All right? Um, let's see. It would be perfect if we had... No, pero ese era un ejemplo, René. Sorry. Ah, ok. <laughs> It would be perfect if we had enough time for us. Very good. Entonces, básicamente la diferencia entre esta estructura, guys, this one with the other one is that this has an independent clause, el independent clause va a pasado, porque tenemos el if. Lo contrario de la otra que decimos it would be better to let, tenemos un infinitivo, ¿ok? Y después decimos lo que queremos decir, right? Infinitive plus the complement. It would be better to let employees decide what processes to change, okay? Si ustedes me preguntan, teacher, ¿pero qué le sigue entonces al would be better? Le sigue una frase, una infinity phrase. Este es un infinity phrase, así se llama, okay? Frase infinitiva. Si me preguntan cuál es la, la definición correcta, ¿qué es lo que le sigue después al infinitivo? Una frase infinitiva, okay? 
Esta no es una cláusula, no es una oración, es una frase infinitiva. Ok, entonces acá, después del infinito, de acá podríamos decir que subject más would, uh, would be better plus infinity phrase, podemos decir. Sí, o si no, infinity. Pero para que ustedes digan, teacher, pero entonces, ¿qué va después de let? Una frase, ¿ok? Porque no es cláusula ni es oración. No es cláusula, guys, porque el inicio de, la, de, la, de esta oración no es la palabra, no es una palabra que me indique cláusula como if, como when, etcétera, que ya la hemos visto. Y tampoco puede ser una oración completa porque no tenemos sujeto, verbo, complement, ¿ok? Y entonces es una frase infinitiva porque empieza con un infinitivo, ¿ok? Espero no confundirlo, solamente darle un nombre a las cosas, ¿ok? Right? So, I have a sentence here, an example. Ok, don't worry, Amilcar, I got your point, ¿ok? Don't worry. Ok, guys, uh, Let's see, do we have more examples? It would be good if, uh, it would be perfect if we had enough time for, oh, no me había fijado que Dinora ocupó el perfect en vez de good. Y está bien, ok? Uh, déjeme, déjeme ver, if we have, está bien, super, super, se puede también. Si ustedes se fijan, esta estructura sigue la misma, solamente que le podemos cambiar de adjetivo, ¿verdad? It would be nice. Ah, ya, ya aquí me la van cambiando también. It would be nice if we were better workers. ¿Se fijan? Realmente esta estructura da paso a que la cambiemos en el adjetivo. It would be good, it would be perfect, ¿ok? No les estoy diciendo, teacher, pero es que usted no me, no me dijo que podíamos cambiar. Claro que no, porque la estructura se, se da así, pero usted tiene la libertad de cambiarlo porque está bien. It would be nice if we were better workers. It would be perfect if we had enough time. It would be better. It would be better if the government approved the law. Approved, exactly, the law for water. Vaya, miren acá, me hicieron una fusión de esta. It would be, oh my God, would be better con esta, porque me pusieron el if. And it's fine, está, está bien. Lo que me gusta es que están siempre respetando la regla gramatical, ¿verdad? Y están variando. It's fine. Don't worry, estamos bien. No está mal, está bien. It would be sad if we hadn't seen you the last time. It would be sad if we, tal vez esta ignora por la estructura ya se está cambiando completamente. La podríamos modificar, it would be sad if we, sería, we si no, si no, lo, lo, si no nos hubiésemos visto la última vez o algo así. Es que ahí tenía dos. Mm. De déjeme ver. It would be sad mm -hmm. if we hadn't seen you. Sí, 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 claro que sí. Ya le entendí su punto. It would be sad if, if we hadn't. Mm -hmm. Es como de lamentarse o algo así. Exacto. No, hubieran... Ajá. Sí, exacto. Tal vez aquí se. En esta oración que Dinora nos mandó, está bien, no está mal, pero tal vez va orientada a um, expresar algo diferente, tal vez no una sugerencia, ¿verdad? Sino tal vez otro, o, otro tipo, eh, o sea, el mensaje no es una sugerencia, tal vez, ya no es una sugeren sugerencia ni un consejo, sino que es como... Sí, como un lamento, ¿verdad? Que, que se tiene, que, que, que... Ajá, que, que, que se tiene básicamente porque no es sugerencia. No está mala, Dinora, tal vez la interpretación o, o la idea se desvía un poquito, ¿verdad? Ya no sería sugerencia ni un consejo, sino que 
sería más que todo como un lamento, ¿verdad? Que tenemos. It would be better. Ajá. Sí, básicamente, si no, si lo convirtiéramos en sugerencia, podríamos decir, it would be sad if we. If we uh, didn't, didn't, didn't see you, last, didn't see you. Didn't see you anymore. Ajá, más, más, eh, más, gener, más general lo podemos hacer. It would be sad if we... If we... Um, Didn't see you. If we didn't see you. Si no nos viéramos. Ok. Sería triste si no nos viéramos next time. Next time. Porque hacemos lo mismo, ¿verdad? Al cambiar toda esta estructura. Y la pasamos todo en pasado. Con ese time expression de last time. Ya estamos cambiando todo. Entonces como una sugerencia. Se da en presente. Por eso le, 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 lo decimos, se, que sería triste si no, si no nos viéramos la siguiente vez, ¿ok? Ahí todavía está dando una sugerencia, un consejo y le está diciendo veámonos, ¿verdad? Veámonos el next time. Ahí todavía. Pero, Dinora, no estoy diciendo que está mal, al contrario. Estamos bien con la estructura, lo podemos hacer de esa manera, claro que sí, ¿ok? Good. It would be nice if we had a break. <laughs> yes, very good. Miren acá, super, super good advice, right? It would be nice if we had a break, okay? So guys, um, questions about this structure and question about the other structure? Do you have questions about would be better to and would be good if? Do you have questions about this? Teacher. Yes. Teacher, I have a question. It's yes. About the other, it's about the other expression to provide okay. suggestion. Mm -hmm. There are other, other expressions. Would you prefer? Would it be better? Oh. Okay. Would any better? Basically, would any better? La diferencia con este es que está en negativa y está en pregunta. Lo demás siempre sigue la misma regla, ¿verdad? Le sigue un infinitivo. La diferencia es que está en pregunta. Wouldn't it better to? Y que está en negativa. Si yo quisiera hacer esta en, 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 en pregunta. Yo dijera. Would it be better to let the employees decide what process to change? Solo en pregunta. Pero aquí ya la estoy haciendo en negativa. Esa es como la, la, la diferencia de la estructura. Sí, como que. Eh, no fuera mejor. No fuera mejor, ok. Eso es básicamente como la, 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 eh, la translation. Um, and would you prefer realmente es para brindar alternativas, ¿sí? Pero acá es como, si, ¿por qué teacher me ponen entonces esa estructura si estamos hablando de suggestion? Porque de una manera bien... Como, how do you say this in Spanish? Se me ha olvidado la palabra que normalmente utilizamos, pero de una manera bien polite, ¿verdad? De una manera bien educada, yo le estoy diciendo a usted que como le estoy brindando sugerencias, pero esas sugerencias yo tengo un segundo propósito y mi segundo propósito es sugerirle algo, como que yo le estoy limitando a usted a sugerirle dos opciones. Digamos que usted llega a una tienda, Osvin, y eh, usted está buscando un teléfono. Entonces, con esta pregunta, usted no solamente, eh, dependiendo ¿verdad? de su objetivo, pero la ponemos en este, en este tema porque también usted puede manipular esa pregunta para dar una sugerencia en el trasfondo. Yo llego y le dice, ¿cuál prefiere Osby? Mire, le tenemos un Samsung es, eh, A20, 
o tenemos un Samsung S10. Y le doy las, las características. Yo en esa pregunta, en what, 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 sorry, would you prefer a Samsung, <coughs> a Samsung A20 or a Samsung S10? Yo ya le estoy sugiriendo las dos opciones, ¿sí? Por eso es que la ponen acá en este tema. Pero no quiere decir que cada vez que preguntemos, would you prefer, nosotros hagamos sugerencias. Simplemente lo podemos hacer también bien por la mente haciendo esa pregunta, ¿verdad? Por eso es que está ahí. Por eso es que está dentro de ese tema, porque también hay frases que se pueden brindar sugerencias y alternativas, o alterma, alternativas a la misma vez. Y siempre sigue siendo formal, como bien polite. Esto es, este tema es más que todo para hacer una sugerencia súper polite. De diferentes maneras, que ya tenemos como pregunta este, como pregunta este, y como oración normal o una expresión este y este, ¿verdad? Así que, we have options. Did I answer your question, Osby? Oh, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. It's a pleasure. It's, it's, any it's, other? It's Great. Thank you. So, guys, do you have any question? Any any comment? No? We have many listeners today. Okay, guys. So, this is what we're going to be doing. Uh, we will go ahead and open some breaker rooms right now. And we will go to the page 20 on the manual. It's not page 20, it's page 22. This one, page 22. Let's go ahead and do these like scramble sentences. Scramble sentences in pairs, okay? And then you come back and we will practice. Do you remember I told you I have a listening session for today? So we have the, the, the listening, okay? So I will make the breaker rooms and later on we will have the listening session using this structure in real time, ¿ok? Ahorita hacemos los breaker rooms. Vamos a ordenar estas oraciones en la página 22. Great teacher. Thank you, guys. Thank you. All right. Let me assign you manually. Um, solamente los listeners que lo voy a mover. Solo confirmando, Kenny, Kenny is a listener today. Are you a listener? Yes, teacher. Okay. Um, Angela Estefanía, we're good, right? Yes. Luis Alberto yes. María de Nora, we're good. Christian, you said that you're a listener, right? Christian. Okay, let me see, Jaime Antonio, Jaime is a listener, no. Yes, teacher. Oh, yes, right. Why, why do we have a lot of listeners today? Wow, guys. Julio Cesar, okay. Okay, Julio Cesar, estamos bien. Daniel y Marielos, okay. Ezequiel, American, okay, okay, American is a listener. Okay, let me open the breaker rooms, guys. Questions about this? No. Okay, great. Let me open the breaker rooms right now. Okay. Thank you, guys. Please join to the me. Uh, join to the breaker room, please. Join. Click on join, please. Click on join, guys. Luis Alberto, click and join. Julio Cesar Merino, click and join. Where? Julio Cesar. Where, boy? Where? Ok, lo voy a unir de nuevo. Ah, ok, thank No, you, ahorita thank no. You. Next time. No. <laughs> Ajá, a esta no. Ahorita sí. Ahora sí, Julio César. Thank okay, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
will be good if we change the dress code. Change the dress code. Yes, I believe it's correct. We change. Mm -hmm. Four. In number four. Number four. Sería it's a it sentence. Will, sentence. Mm, okay. It would be. It would be a good a good idea. It would be a good idea mm -hmm, to have. Uh huh. It would be. It would be a good idea to have a training manual for chef. Yes. Yes. Yo ya la resolví. Espérenme, le, le vamos a tomar una fotito y ya okay. se lo mando. Bueno, hi, teacher. Hi. Hello. Yeah, the teacher is here. I'm here, no, guys. The teacher is here. Yes. ¿Cómo vamos? How are you? He's, Fine. He's hearing us. Yes. We finish. Oh, my God, really? Yes. You're fast. Really? 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 Wow. Yes. So is is it is it do you feel is 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 easy now whenever you use the no, formula? Not that easy. Not that easy. Tampoco uh, así. <laughs> <laughs> no, pero le hice súper rápido. Es que yo lo comencé desde hace un rato que estábamos cuando estábamos eh, man, mandando la la en el chat Ajá. Entonces me puse, okay. me, me puse a, a dije, organizarla. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Thank yes, you, guys. Yes. Thanks to Dinora. <laughs> <laughs> but we understood it. Do we, I mean, did we understand it? Yeah? Everything good? Yes. Yes, it's very good. Perfect, perfect. Yeah. What very I like clear about the conjunction. this. Yes, what I like about this uh, structure is that you can change it. You can change it and it's still good, right? And it is not like a grammar copy, all right? It's not like a grammar copy. It's just a structure that you can follow every day. And it's very useful. I mean, you are not, you're not going to be using it just for suggestions. There are many ways that you can use it. And later on, you will see. Después van a ver como... Like Dinora did it, right? You you did a sentence, and it doesn't mean that it's a suggestion, right? And it's good, all right. Yes. I didn't say anything no. more. I didn't say anything more because I, I didn't want to confuse the others. Sometimes you get confused by the teachers teaching me this, and now I, I don't know. Sometimes it, sometimes it confuses. Bad, good job, Dinona, because you're using the structure for any other purposes, right? And that is the point. At the end, you will be able to use the structure for more purposes. Yes. As long as you follow the, the, the grammar rules, right? I send the picture to the to number cell phone. Oh, okay. Because, because I don't know. The yes. I did receive that. Okay. Okay. Perfect, guys. I thank you very much. Just let me get a moment. I will go through the other groups just to make sure. And then we will go back to the main room. Okay. Thank you, guys. Great job. Just one moment. Okay. Okay. I will go ahead and review in the other groups. Bueno. Ah, pues hoy sí. Teacher, I fin we finish. Wow, I'm so glad to know that you're doing it fast. Thank you. Let me check in the, the groups. We are the champion. You're the champions. This is the second group <laughs> that has already finished. So let me see the other groups, okay? Just to make sure. Okay. I'll be back. Hey, teacher. Hello, guys. Do we teacher. feel? Hello, teacher. We are working hard in the sentence. Oh. 
you. All right. If you have questions, let me know. By the way, Marcos Antonio Melgar is with you right now. Could you please um <laughs> adopt him? <laughs> to Marcos, yes, don't worry. But I don't, I don't see him. Uh, maybe he has problems with the internet. Thank you, guys. Go. He, How are you? He presented, uh, Sorry. he presented us. Yes, but after that, disappears. Uh-huh, he disappeared. How are you, guys? What number are you right now? In the number four, we are working. Oh, great. Okay. If you have questions, let me know. Okay, guys? Okay. Thank you. Okay. I appreciate it, guys. You're welcome. Yeah. El inicio sería would, would be. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. I'm finished. You finished? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> this is the, the third group to finish already. Let me review um, the other groups, okay? Let me check on the other groups. Okay, Thank you, guys. Teacher. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I have to Hi teacher. Hello, hello guys. Did you finish? How how yes, are you? <gasps> yeah. Wow, you're the fourth group yes. that already finished. Good job. Perfect. So Marina, me... Marina, is is she wanted? Is she wanted? <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> nice to know that. Thank you, guys. Let me check in one more group, and then we will go back to the main one. Okay. Okay. Thank you, guys. I am May. I, I coffee. <laughs> I want coffee. Va, está bien. Lo voy a ir a traer. Está <laughs> bien. Princesa, y se va a traer machado. Que te vas a dormir de tanto.
Hello, guys. Thank you for joining back. Hello, hello. Guys, thank you for joining on time. I will go through the attendance, please. And later on, we will check the, the sentences, okay? Let me go through okay. the attendance really quick. Sure. One moment. Thank you for joining back. Who's missing? Okay, let me go through the attendance, please. Um, Angela Estefania Marroquí Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you. Cristian Josué López Pérez. Daniela Arquímedes. Thank you. Daniela Arquímedes Florentino García. Present teacher. Daniela Ezequiel Álvarez Mejía. Present teacher. Estela Mabel Oriana del CID. Present teacher. Jaime Antonio Velar Cortés. Present teacher. Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Jorge Alberto Navarro López. Josué Manuel Rodríguez Hernández. Julio César Merino González. Present. Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Present. Kenny Lizeth Cuellar de Barrientos. Present. Luis Alberto Galicia Gertrudis. Present. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Marcos Amil Carmancía Gutiérrez. María Dinora Janes Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Marielo Janet Cornet Corazo. Present teacher. Sorry, teacher, present. Ah, thank you. Uh, Marina Vanessa Vázquez Romero. Present, teacher. Osvin Alexis Hernández Flores. Present, teacher. Sabina Lizette García Orellana. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Present, teacher. José René Aguirre Chavarría. Present. Nelson Vladimir Flores Martinez. He's not here. Okay. Great, guys. Thank you. Uh, let me share the screen. Let me go back to the manual and we will uh, solve it together. Okay. So we have the number one. Uh, Marcos Antonio Melgar, could you please read the number one? Read it. Yes. Would you prefer to have a different is toilet. A schedule. A schedule, sorry. Very good. Here we are missing the WH, okay? Sorry. They're missing the WH. A Would you prefer to have a different schedule? All right. That's something that I am suggesting in a polite way, okay? <laughs> okay. Uh, next one, number two. Who can help me with the number two, guys? Me, teacher. Oh, thank you, Dinora. Let's do it. Wouldn't it be better to revise the manual before printing? Wouldn't it be better to revise the manual? The manual printing? Before printing. Very good. Is that okay, guys? Yes? Great job, Dinora. Perfect. 
All right, what about number three? Who can help me with number three? Good job, Dinora. Number three? Guys, number three? Me, me. Thank me you. Teacher. Thank you, very good, Dania. Okay, it will be good. Mm -hmm. It will be good if we change it. Mm -hmm. Change the dress code. Very good. It would be good if we changed the dress code. Good job. Good job. Perfect. Number four, guys. Me, teacher. Go for it. Go for it. Thank you. It is good. Mm -hmm. Be a good idea. It will be. Be a, a good, good idea. A All right. Idea. Okay. To have a training. To have training. a training. Uh huh. Manual for chef. Manual for chef. Good job. Good job, Julio Cesar. Perfect. All right. What about the number five? Who can help me with the number five? Number five. Okay. Uh, Go for it. Wouldn't, Thank you. wouldn't it be better to let the man and your decide? Mm -hmm. Wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't it, it right? Wouldn't be, yeah. wouldn't it better to be better to let the man and your to let the man and your decide? Mm -hmm. That's it, right? Very good. Wonderful, guys. So how do you feel the structure now? Do you feel it easier, difficult, or handable? <laughs> I mean, that you can handle it. Easier and handable. handable. Very good. Very good. Great. We are strong together. You are, you are the champions, right? Good job. <laughs> yeah. Great, guys. So... I made the listening, all right? I, I told you, I promised you I was going to be giving you something in context using all of these, all right? So, sure long. <laughs> okay. So, guys, questions about this? No questions? No, no it's good? very clear. Is that clear like water, yes. like orchata, or like... It's very real clear like the river after the raining. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what 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 is the name of this river? The the one that we have that is very clear. As el Guate. <laughs> As el Guate River, right? As okay. el Guate River. It's very clear the water. Okay. <laughs> I live in near. I live in near. Really? The river. As el Guate. Yes. Oh wow. my god. <laughs> Are you swimming inside? <laughs> Ezekiel, really sorry. Know. Tell me, what is your question, Ezekiel? Uh, sorry. I understand uh, the verb uh, is in the in past. So in the number four, why is that in past? To have. Let me see. It will be a good idea. Oh, okay. Here it's not in past because we don't have if. Because we don't have the conditional if. We have instead yes. of having ah, uh -huh. okay, but the condition. Okay. Tenemos una infinity phrase. That's why. Mm -hmm. Acuérdense, guys, que esa estructura da paso a que usted no sea tan estricta con ella. Acuérdense que me dijeron it would be sad, it would be nice, okay, y todavía está bien, sí, todavía está bien, okay. De hecho, pueden jugar con esa estructura para hacer para usted interpretarme algo más que una sugerencia. Pero yo no los quiero ahorita, ¿verdad? Eh, confundir y traer más ideas que los van a um, confundir. Pero, guys, el would be, ¿ok? Would be better, would be good. It would be, el would en sí tiene muchas más estructuras, ¿ok? Solamente que ahorita estamos viendo esta como sugerencia o strong suggestion as a polite way, okay? No, polite way, sorry, in a polite way, okay? Thank you for asking, uh, Ezekiel. Thank you very much. 
Acuérdense que si tenemos acá el infinitivo, entonces yo no voy a seguir con el pasado, el verbo pasado, ¿verdad? Sino que con un infinitivo. Si lo tenemos en el if, entonces sí voy a seguir con un pasado. ¿Ok? No questions, Julio César, Marcos, ¿todo bien? Eh, ¿Daniel? Bien. Yes, teacher. Yo creo que esto va a salir en, en, el, en uno de los de las tareas que hay que realizar, va, teacher. Sí, creo que ya todo lo hicimos, ¿verdad? <ríe> creo sí. que sí, no, nos adelantamos por, un poquito. Por eso me, pero me, me parece familiar. <ríe> But thank you, guys. You're awesome, ¿ok? Thank you. Thank you a lot. Ok, so guys, uh, let me uh, stop sharing. Um, and let me go through this. All right, so guys, uh, by the way, no, <laughs> this is the, this is the class, the class 12, guys. Wow, this is the class 12 already. Are we in the middle of the, of the course today? Yes, right? We're in the middle of the course. Yes. Yes, there's missing one week and a half and we're done, okay? What day will we be, will close the course? Um, let me see. Oh my God, what did I did? Sorry. Uh, one moment. Let me review. That will be on. Let me see. This is the third week. We close on the second, September the second. In two weeks and a half. Sorry. In two. No. Yes, right. See. Two weeks and I a half, think. yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. We September, have five weeks. Five weeks. September five. Ah, uh, September, September the second. Friday, September, September the second. Uh, the second week or the second day? The second day. <laughs> <laughs> It's exactly good. five weeks. Five weeks. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Look, give me a second. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a little bit confused now. No, wait a minute. When did we start? We started on the July, July the 25th. Yes. It is because we have one week, right? One week. One second. For the, vac the week, the vacation week. Because of the vacation week. But we started on July the 25th. Yes, we started July the 25th. That was the our first week. And then we have vacation from the first until the fifth. And then we continue on the 8th, August the 8th. That was our second week. Our third week is, was well, sorry, August the 15th, which is this week. And then we have the third week, uh, fourth group, fourth week, sorry, on um, August the 22nd. And the last week will be August the 29th until September the 2nd. Mm -hmm. So we are in the middle today, in the middle of the course, okay? Yes, we're in the third week. Exactly. This is the third week. All right, guys. So here we have a listening practice. Yesterday, I told you that we, I mean, I didn't find anything, anything related with the topic in, on the internet, but examples. Okay? Just examples. Why, teacher? Because this topic is not a grammar topic. Indeed. It's not a grammar topic. It's just a structure. It's just a phrase that you use, okay? It's a useful phrase. That's what I didn't find anything. But since I didn't find anything, I brought a conversation to you. So listen to a conversa uh, conversation uh, the, the first time. We will listen to the conversation the first time, okay? First time, just to listen and understand. Close your, your, close your eyes if you want concentrate, listen, and understand it. That's it, okay? Later on, I will ask you to do something else, but now, first time, just to listen. Listen and understand it. 
Uh, you let me know if you listen to the conversation. Siguen viendo la pantalla? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you don't see WhatsApp? Ven WhatsApp? No. Oh, sure. okay. Sorry, one moment. Hey, Anthony, what do you think about... Okay, guys, uh, please let me know if you listen to the conversation. Okay, me dejan saber si pueden escuchar ahorita. Hey, Anthony, what did you... Did you hear that? Yes. Yes, it's true. Okay. Yes, so, we can hear that. Perfect. Listen to the conversation and understand it. Just listen, okay? Please uh, turn off your microphones, guys. Turn on, turn off your microphone, sorry. So everyone will listen. Turn it, turn them off. All right. Hey, Anthony, what do you think about this outfit? Mm, I like it, but maybe the blouse is too short and tight. It would be good if you feel comfortable with it. What do you mean? I love it. Wouldn't it be better to wear that black dress? That dress is boring, but you're right. I feel stressed and uncomfortable now. It's all up to you, Brianna. You look fantastic in both outfits. Thank you. You know what? It will be better to stay at home tonight. Sorry to bother you and thank you for coming with me. Let's come back to the office. Anytime, Brianna. Hey, Anthony. Okay, guys, here you have the conversation. That was a conversation between Anthony and between uh, Brianna. Brianna is um, trying an outfit, okay? But she has already tried an outfit before. So this is the second outfit. So what she's doing is that she's asking for um, Opinion. her... Yes, for her for her class. No, it was not a classmate. It was it was a co-workers, co-workers opinion. It was a co-workers opinion. Okay. So <clears throat> at the end, right, Anthony, who is the co-workers, told uh told her what that exactly think about the outfit, right? Both outfits. So let's let's listen again. Listen again because the other time for you to listen is for you to transcript what you hear, okay? Write what you hear next time. Pero now, but now just listen again. Solamente escuchen de nuevo, okay? What do you think Sorry. about this? Hey, Anthony, what do you think about this outfit? Mm, I like it, but maybe the blouse is too short and tight. It would be good if you feel comfortable with it. What do you mean? I love it. Wouldn't it be better to wear that black dress? That dress is boring, but you're right. I feel stressed and uncomfortable now. It's all up to you, Brianna. You look fantastic in both outfits. Thank you. You know what? It will be better to stay at home tonight. Sorry to bother you. And thank you for coming with me. Let's come back to the office. Anytime, Brianna. <laughs> he is like boring, right? Like, I mean, he is bored at the end. Like, oh my God. She was trying, I mean, she, she was trying with many outfits and then she, she's not going to go to the party. She's going to stay at home. Ah. <laughs> He's like that, right? At the end. <laughs> Again. Again, okay. So, guys, um, 
Now it is time for you to transcript what you hear. Okay, let's train yeah. our um or ear. Okay, let's train uh our listening or listening skills. Let's write. Okay, vamos a escribir, transcribir la conversación en su en su en su cuaderno. Okay, sin ver nada, yeah. solamente escuchando y luego, guys. Yo se la voy a volver, yo se le voy a dar el, 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 el la transcription for you to see how you did, ¿ok? Ahorita van a medir ustedes su listening, listening uh, skills. Veamos cómo estamos de listening, ¿sí? Escríbalo como usted lo escucha, ¿ok? Yeah. Y luego, guys, una cosa, ahorita se van a dar cuenta que importante es saber las estructuras y el vocabulario, porque una vez usted lo, lo, lo sepa, la estructura es fácil escribirlo cuando usted lo escucha. Ahorita no creo que vayan a tener problemas cuando, escuch, cuando transcriban el would be better, would, it, would, would be good at if, porque you already know how is it. No, espero yo que en esas tra transcripciones usted esté bien y ya va a ver que va a estar bien. En cambio, si usted escuchara ese listening for first time, fuera difícil para usted a cómo va a ser ahorita. ¿Sí? Entonces, this is a training. All right. Listening training. Mira si usted ahorita, esto es para que empecemos a desarrollar verde listening. Continuemos desarrollando el listening, de hecho. Así que uh, hágalo usted solito a conciencia y luego yo le voy a poner el transcription, eh, la, the whole uh, conversation y usted va a ir comparando y usted mismo le voy a decir que corrija los errores que cometió. Y los vamos a ir contando. ¿Cuántos errores cometieron cada uno? ¿Ok? No para, hacer, para hacernos daño, para sentirnos mal, no, sino que para aprender, para medirnos cómo vamos, ¿ok? So, let's do it, guys. I will play it two times for you to transcribe it. For you to transcript it. Y voy a ir dándole pausas, okay? Ready, guys? Ready, ready? Yes, ready. All right. Be prepared with your pencil, all right? Pencil and eraser. Let's do it. Like in the school, okay? That would be like a dictation. Like in the school, right? Let's do it, guys. Hey, Anthony, what do you think about this outfit? Mm, I like it, but maybe. I like it, but maybe the blouse is too short and tight. It would be good if you felt comfortable with it. If I am going too fast, let me know. If I am going too slow, let me know. Okay? Slow, please. Slower? Slower than this? Okay. Please. <laughs> no worry. What do you mean? I love it. Okay. 
Next. Wouldn't be better to wear that black dress? Teacher, repeat again, please. Repeat. Wouldn't be better to wear that black dress? That dress is boring, but you're right. Okay, thank you. That dress? That dress is boring, but you're right. I feel stressed and uncomfortable now. It's all up to you, Brianna. You look fantastic in both outfits. Now. It's all up to you, Brianna. You look fantastic in both outfits. Thank you. You know what? It will be better to stay at home tonight. Sorry. And uncomfortable now. It's all up to you, Brianna. You look fantastic in both outfits. Thank you. You know what? It will be better to stay at home tonight.
Hi. Sorry to bother you, and thank you for coming with me. Let's night. Sorry to bother you, and thank you for coming with me. Let's Guys, todos lo estamos escuchando bien. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. A mí el que me, me te comentaba te que... Te muy lento. De verdad. Como me dijeron más lento, teacher, yo por eso lo... Bueno, a la segunda la vamos a hacer de una vez. <risa> ah, de varias formas, está bien, teacher. Good, teacher. Okay. Estoy incompleto, lo tengo. Coming with me, let's come back to the office. Alguien tiene el micrófono abierto y teclea bien fuerte. Creo yes. que es un pica pollo así como bien lento, así como no está en mecanografía. Ajá. Uh -huh. En mecanografía. Sí, se escucha más el tecleado sí. que la voz. Sí, yo, yo cursé todavía esa materia en mi época de mecanografía, sí se oían los teclados bien fuertes. Yo no, yo no exactly. fui, me acuerdo que mi hermano iba, pero I, I didn't go. Daniel se acuerda, dice. También el curso ese. Ay no, yo así te creo. Pero no soy yo, yo ahorita. No te, yo no te creo. Ah, no es usted. Bueno. No, pero yo así te creo. Cuando estoy en mi trabajo me dicen, uy, va a romper la compu. Hay que darle. El trabajo así es, el trabajo es duro. ¿Sí? Ok, guys, let me, let me continue. I believe this is the last part. Anytime, Brianna. Sí, como que, anytime, Brianna. <laughs> está durmiendo porque está viendo que está midiendo ropa la, la chica. Ajá. Y se la llevó y, y al final para nada, vea. Así somos. Sorry. Lo, lo llevó al compañero para que la aconsejara. No hubo <laughs> consejo. Ajá. Uh -huh. No, sí le dijo. Le, bueno, sí la aconsejó, de hecho. Es que a veces, ¿verdad? Ustedes tienen razón. A veces. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> ok. Sorry, guys. It's my shirt, ¿ok? <laughs> que hace ruido. Oigan, le voy a echar aceitío. Tres en uno. Tres en uno. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Buenas, buenas madrugadas. Sorry. Ajá, Sabrina. Toda pintada viene ahí. Ya aprendió a mí a llegar tarde. Más que estamos en, aquí en, 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 en algo. En un listening, Sabrina. We're in a listening y lo estamos transcribiendo. Así que ahorita vamos con la segunda vez. Let's do it the best that you can, ¿ok? Lo que escucho la voy a escribir. Lo vamos a hacer rápido porque Marcos Antonio dijo, no, teacher, esto está lento. Yo ya mejor ya no, ya no me meto dijo, a esta reunión. No le haga caso, no le haga caso. <ríe> y todos ahí escribiendo, Marcos, what are you doing? What are you doing, Marcos? Okay, guys, I, I, will, I will play it second time, okay, for you to check it out. Hey, Anthony, what do you think about this outfit? Mm. Hey, Anthony, what do you think about this outfit? Mm.
about this outfit? Mm, I like it. For me. Uh -huh. I like it, but maybe the blouse is too short and tight. Tie is tie. Like a tie in the neck. Ah, yeah, <laughs> yes, I think I got you. That is the man's phrase. Ah, is that short and tight? <laughs> it would be good if you felt comfortable with it. What do you mean? I love it. Wouldn't be better to wear that black dress? That dress is better to wear that black dress? I mean, I love it. Wouldn't be better to wear that black dress? That dress is boring, but you're right. I that dress is boring, but you're right. I feel stressed and uncomfortable now. Voy muy slow. Yes, teacher. Sorry. Yes. I think, but it's good. Sir. Okay. Oh, repeat, teacher. Repeat. No, no more time. <laughs> it's 
It is the last time. No, it is the last time, dijo, yes. Lo último que dijo la chica. Okay. That dress is boring, but you're right. I feel stressed and uncomfortable now. It's all up to you, Brianna. You look. Brianna, you look fantastic in both outfits. Thank you. You know what? It will be better to stay at home tonight. Sorry to bother you and thank you for coming with me. Let's tonight. Sorry to bother you and thank you for coming with me. Let's come. With me, let's come back to the office. Anytime. Time, Brianna. Hey, Anthony. Ready, guys? Done? Yes, I done, I think. Okay, great. So, guys, uh, do me a favor, and now let's stop it, and we will check it out, okay? Let's check it out. I will play the last time for you to compare it with the script. Here you have the script, okay? Here you have a script, so let's play it. Let's play it the last time for you to be able to compare it with the script. One moment, because I lost it. Me avisan cuando escuchen, guys. Hey, Anthony, what do you think about this outfit? Did you listen that? Yes. yes. Perfect. Okay, yes. now let's read and listen at the same time. Hey, Anthony, what do you think about this outfit? Mm, I like it, but maybe the blouse is too short and tight. It would be good if you feel comfortable with it. What do you mean? I love it. Wouldn't be better to wear that black dress? That dress is boring, but you're right. I feel stressed and uncomfortable now. It's all up to you, Brianna. You look fantastic in both outfits. Thank you. You know what? It will be better to stay at home tonight. Sorry to bother you and thank you for coming with me. Let's come back to the office. Anytime, Brianna. Okay, here you have the transcript or here you have the script, the script guys. Uh, did you check it out? Did you check uh, what did you get? What did you miss? What did you have right? Yes? Yeah. Guys, perfect. Yes, I think. How many, how many errors did you get? Send it in the chat. Manden el, el, nom, el número de errores que tuvieron en este chat. Teacher. 
Yes. Si lo reprodujo de nuevo, yo no escuché nada. No escucharon. Yes, sí, sí. Yo sí. Yo no. Ah, yes. yo, yo sí escuché todo. Sí, pero ahí, ahí puse la, el, trans, el, 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 el script. Ahí está el script. En I mean on the on this on the script, you have the script, okay? Put a game, teacher. Put a game. Do you want to listen again? Okay, the last time, guys. Last time, just to compare it. Let me play the last time. Do you listen? Oh my god. No. <laughs> Hey, Anthony, okay. what do you think about this outfit? Mm, I like it, but maybe the blouse is too short and tight. It would be good if you felt comfortable with it. What do you mean? I don't listen. I love it. Wouldn't be better to wear that black dress? That dress is boring, but you're right. I feel stressed. And... Guys, no escucha? No, yes. yo no. ¿Los demás? Yo sí, teacher. Yo sí, también. Yo sí. Let's review your audio, Jose. Revise su, su audio. Because everyone is listening. Ni idea, pero no he tocado nada. Qué raro. <laughs> La primera vez escuché de ella. Now. It's all up to you, Brandon. Bueno, you look fantastic yeah, in both outfits. <laughs> Thank you. You know what? It will be better to stay at home tonight. Sorry to bother you. And thank you for coming with me. Let's come back to the office. Anytime, Brianna. Okay, guys. So here you have the conversation, okay? So how many errors did you have? Solamente Luis ha comentado. How many errors did you have, guys? Teacher, sorry. Yeah? Y ese audio lo puede mandar, teacher. Of course, I can send uh, it to you, yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Al WhatsApp. Yes, sí. sure. I Please. will send it to you. I will send it to you. So, uh, guys, how how did you feel this practice? Porque no me mandaron el número, guys. Oh my god. Ahora, I feel I, I feel the I feel the practice is is complicated, uh, and you you know uh, my problem and uh, my biggest problem is listening. All right. But I try, try over and over again. And you, you send uh, the audio in WhatsApp. Yes, I will send Please. it to you. Don't worry, guys. So, um, what else? What do you think about the the listening practice, guys? Are you good? Are you still struggling on it? ¿Cómo vamos? I feel I feel it's in the middle. It's not I I get it. I get difficult in the middle. Errors. It's not difficult and errors. not easy to Oh my god, dije yo, será que no lo hice bien? Like está como que más o menos, dicha. Hágalo mejor así. No, 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 I'm just kidding. Give me a moment. You you be, you be, you be good. All right, thank you guys. I'm sending it to you, all right? Um, teacher, um, commentary um, uh, with audio and um, you know, uh, I feel uh, understand uh, un poco más. Sorry, let's say it in Spanish, Julio says. Sí, con el audio entendí un poco más, teacher. Oh, great. Cositas, Perfect. cositas, cositas, pero sí, ya me, ya me gustó un poquito más. <laughs> okay, thank Perfect. you, teacher. You're welcome. Sí. I sent you the script and the audio, okay? For you to have it, guys. All right, let me continue uh, sharing the script, guys. And uh, do me a favor, guys, and... Uh, sorry, this is... Uh, go to the page... 
same page, on the page 22, in pairs, we will exchange the index you created in the previous page with classmates. And then give suggestions about how to improve it using will be better alter or alternative expressions. Guys, ¿se acuerdan del index que habíamos creado? Yes, no? ¿Se acuerda de este index mm. que habíamos creado? This one? This? Yes, teacher. So I told you, I told you to keep it, right? Les dije que los mantuvieran. Ahora, búsquenlo. Porque con sus parejas vamos a, va, van a decir ustedes qué piensan del index. Pray. Utilizando la estructura que estamos estudiando. Puede decir usted, mm, I feel setting table is the number one. Or you can say, it would be better to have dress code in the number two. Mm, it would be good if I had prevention of accidents and safety at the end of the index. Because this and that, okay? So, básicamente, ustedes van a dar sus opinions acerca de cómo lo hizo su pareja. Utilizando la estructura, dando sugerencias. All right? Are we okay? Guys? Let me open. Yeah, the so okay, we have five, eight minutes to do it. Eight minutes, okay? So, let's do it as fast as we can. All right? As fast as we can, guys. Let's click on join, please. Creo que voy a reasignar algunos nada más. Solamente déjeme ver. Uh -huh. Let me see. Who's missing? Click on join, guys. Marcos. Marcos, Marcos, Marcos. ¿Con quién estaba Marcos? Marcos. Okay. Click on join, guys. Which right in the field. Okay, está bien. Está bien, dice. Aquí está echado la gente. No, porque lo hizo. Está muy Por bien. Por ejemplo, eh, comfortable. Ah. Esa palabra yo la puse a count. It is important. It's important because um, always it's necessary that the, the servers know how to, what to do in a in a, an accident. And you? Um, I, I, I understand. <laughs> I don't understand. ¿Qué dijo que íbamos a hacer? Vaya, en el caso de, de, del índice que hicimos ayer, ah. eh, más que todo es poner la razón de por qué pusimos determinadas cosas en el índice. Por ejemplo, yo puse en primer lugar eh, Serena se Tecu. <risa> put... yeah. yeah. the, the first dress call it the same. The the second you yeah. have 
You have addressing customers. O si quiere le comparto cómo quedó porque ya ah, lo yeah. tengo. Ajá. Please. Lo tengo aquí. Ya está, me lo va a mandar. No, no puedo ver mi pantalla. Ah, si la pone ahí entonces no. Yo pensé que en WhatsApp. What is your second one? What is, uh, what, what, what did he say? I'm sorry. He said that setting a table for, for curious is that the second, ah. for him is setting a table. What about you? What is your second one? My second one is rest call. Hostela. What? <laughs> Uh, the rest of what, 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 what's going <laughs> on? <laughs> I'm sorry. I think so. <laughs> what okay. do you think, Daniel? <laughs> I for a customer. Number, number two. Addressing customer. Number three. Setting a table. Starting a table. Yes. Number four. Uh, getting to know the menu. Number five. The all that it is important. And how do you set to the customers? And in, in setting a table, it can be inside that, that topic. It can be the counting one, getting to know the menu, dress code. It's all that this, todo lo que implica. El, 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 el customer service. The customer service, okay. Nine. Number eight. Eight, eight Prevention of accident and safety. And safety. Yes. Correcto. Creo que ese orden funciona para un manual. Para teacher, teacher, welcome. Welcome with era, that. ¿Qué era schedule? Schedule, horario. Schedule, horario. Y requesting a shift chain. ¿Qué es requesting? Sorry, guys. Pensé que estaba hablando con usted y tenía un mute. <laughs> Sorry. Ah. I was asking you how, how are you guys. We will come back into the main room, okay? Okay. We're, we're already. Great. Perfect. What? 
Sorry. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining. Uh, back, guys. Uh, we will stop it right it's here. Off. This is... Am I a mute? Still a mute? No? Do you no. hear me? Okay, no. okay. We can hear you. Okay, no okay. Problem. So, guys, thank you very much. You did an amazing job in this class, and I would like to ask you if uh, everything is good from your end. Do you have questions about the topic? Is it better now? Is it understandable? How do you feel? It good? is very understandable. Great, perfect. And how do you feel, guys? Tired? Sleepy? Very tired. Very tired. I'm but, but okay, so guys, let's go to the bed. Let's go to rest. I will go through the attendance list really quick. And just to make sure, guys, today we have availability for Jose Rene, Sabrina Lisette, and Maria Vanessa. Who wants to stay? Aha. Uh -huh. I can say today. Thank you, Sabrina. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Okay, so guys, let me go through the attendance list. I hope you have a nice night. Okay, sweet dreams for you. God bless you and see you tomorrow, Thursday. Okay, it's almost done. The week is almost done. Okay, so bye-bye. Take care, guys. Please okay. just wait for the attendance. Okay. Uh, Jose René Aguirre Chavarria. Present. Bye, bye. Bye. Nelson Vladimir Flores Martinez. Sabrina Lisset García Orellana. Present. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Present, teacher. Bye. Olvina Alexis Hernández Flores. Bye, bye. Present, teacher. Bye, bye. Olvina. Marina Vanessa Vázquez Romero. Marina Vanessa Vázquez Romero. Marí, Marielo Janet Cornejo Erazo. María Dinora Janes Hernández. Present. Bye bye, take care. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Luis Alberto Galicia Gertrudis. Present. Bye. Bye bye, take care. Kenny Lizeth Cuellar de Barrientos. Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Bye bye, take care. Josué Manuel Rodríguez Hernández. Bye bye. Bye bye. Jorge Alberto Navarro López. Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Jaime Antonio Velar Cortés. Present teacher. Bye bye, bye, Jaime. Good night. Estela Mabel Oriana del CIF. Present teacher. Good bye night. Bye bye. Good night. Daniel Ezequiel Álvarez Mejía. Present teacher. Bye bye. Take good care. Night. Daniel Arquímedes Florentino García. Present teacher. Bye good bye. Night. Good night. Cristian José López Pérez. Present teacher. Bye. bye Cristian. Ángel Estefanía Marroquín Martínez. Teacher. Good night. Good night. Take care. Julio Cesar Marino Gonzalez. You're amazing, right? Sorry. Present teacher. All right. Bye bye. God Take bless care. you. God bless you as well. Bye bye. Hello, hello, Sabrinita. How are you today? Hello, Sabrina. Do you hear me? Hello, I can teacher. hear you. Ah, hello. How are you, Sabrina? Fine. And you, teacher? Fine. Thank you for asking me. I'm sorry uh, to stay late, all right? And thank you for, for staying with me. Sabrina, let's have this time in order to go ahead and talk about the course, about your learning practice. And uh, first of all, right, I want to say, as all the courses I said, that I'm proud of your learning process. And um, as I said, as, as I always said, uh, let's keep it up. Let's continue in the courses. Don't give up. Let's continue participating, okay? And um, that's pretty much it, all right? I believe 
Sabrina, I won't be with you next course, uh, like the next courses, because I need to rest. All right. Um, so I, I, if I continue with you later on, all right, maybe in advance, I don't know, because it's going to be until next year. Um, I hope, all right, I hope you, I can, I can find you again. I can find you guys, but if not, I hope you have a wonderful, a uh, great luck. And you continue, okay? You continue motivate the team. If I am not with you on the team, please let's continue participating so the other ones will participate as well. And I want to say that it was a pleasure, Serena, to be with you and to have you as a as a, um, as a one of the main participants here. Okay, thank you very much. Personally, I wanted to say this. I'm not saying goodbye, of course not, because I will continue. But for the moment, I will I will get a I will get a stop right here. Um, because I need to rest, right? <laughs> uh, that's pretty much um what I wanted to say, Sabrina. And thank you for being my support. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. And let's continue being a support for this group, please. Other than that. I want to say as well, Sabrina, if there is anything that I can do in the in this course, uh, your learning process will be easy, comfortable, and you continue learning. Any comment, any feedback that you have with me, for me, sorry. And if there is any difficult topic, anything that you want to get more practice, we will do it today. So tell me, how can I help you? Teacher, so... Why, why did you say me goodbye? I didn't understand you are not. Ah, sorry. No, I mean I didn't say it's not a goodbye. Uh -huh. But I believe I'm I'm I believe I won't continue next course with you because I will I will rest. I, I need to rest, right? I need to rest because of my pregnancy. So I need to go to bed. <laughs> I mean to rest more. Um, I believe that that's the reason why. Other than that, believe me, I will stay here with you until the end, right? But unfortunately, I need to rest more. So that's what I was saying, that thank you for being my support and please continue supporting the team, continue participating so you can motivate them, okay? Thank you, thank you, teacher. And how, how, how long, I don't know how to say, how, time how long time how long have... how long how, how long, long you pregnant how long is it missing oh okay mm -hmm. it's almost there it's missing uh a month almost a month ah, more than a month yeah. uh -huh. yes it's almost there it's mo more then than it a will, month it will be a boy or a girl a boy <laughs> a boy is your yes. first it's my Your first, first one. <laughs> yes, it's my first one. That's why sometimes, oh my God, I am like, I can't stand to be sit sitting down anymore. <laughs> it's, it's a little bit difficult to say. Uh, right here it is because it's, I'm, I'm sitting all the whole day, the whole day. And because sometimes I don't sleep I, like more than what I should, should sleep. So there are many things. Um, I I I I believe no. Actually, I the the last course. I remember I was I was about to to stop it right, the last course, but I should continue. So that's what I'm here. If not, maybe maybe I wouldn't be here in this course, right? anymore but i decided to continue this the the last one right and i believe i won i want to stay until the the other one because it's gonna be more than a month right so i don't know sometimes we rest for a week right for two weeks so i believe i i won't do it <laughs> so i better i better say you know what i will stop it right here and you continue because i don't know so i better stop it and i don't want to i don't want to leave you alone guys in the middle of the course so that's why okay i hope everything will be okay Thank with you, you with your boy <laughs> Thank you. i appreciate it and, and believe me that I'm not saying this like everyone, 
because <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, not everyone know, right? But I'm saying this to you because you have been with me, oh my God, since long time ago. And because you are one of the main supports on the team. Everyone is waiting for Sabrina if you don't connect. Where is Sabrina? Or mm, Sabrina is not here. Hmm. And, and they are like all that. All I fight with, with, with Jaime, but I think that that's wake the others. Exactly. <laughs> we fight. That's Yes, exactly. Your participation. He's my nemesis. <laughs> exactly. Your participation is very important in this group. So that's what I'm mentioning. This, Serena, so you can keep them, motivate them, okay? So you can keep them like that. Um, and I hope that you can continue for more and more time. Don't stop participating. Let's continue in every single classes, right? And well... That's what I wanted to say, but Sabrina, is there anything that I can do right now in this course? Any topic that you find difficult or any skill that you believe that you need to practice more? Any comment, any feedback, tell me. <laughs> okay. Well, I think uh, everything, everything is good. I think you, you do the class so interactive and sometimes yeah. with do listening and we do the listening i like it because it's difficult for me the listening when i i i, I have seen you say you before the listening is the more difficult for me it's the most difficult for me because i think that i don't i don't have oído <laughs> i don't have yeah. for for the english i can yeah. i can i can watch a movie with two people and I can understand, but just listening is difficult. And when you put, for example, today, that you put uh, the listening, it, that is the class that are more, everything, all class are interesting for me, but that class um, is most, most um, interesting for me when, do, when we do listening and we compare mm -hmm our grammar with what we listen perfect thank you thank you for that feedback that helps a lot believe me because uh in the listening sessions sometimes you need to compare your your answers with what it is right because then you are i mean oh my god what will what what are the answer of this what are the results i don't know and you're the trying contraction? to to figure out <laughs> exactly. so uh sabrina my recommendation will be like the the same right to continue practicing in your job to listen to native to a native person all right and if possible watch uh tv or watch any series with the subtitles that will help you but try to listen from a native speaker one Try to have a listening in front of a native speaker. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that will help you a lot. And if you can, let's, that's not a problem for you, I believe, but there is always like uh, this tip that I always uh, give to the students to continue increasing the vocabulary. Once you continue increasing the vocabulary, you will understand more because you have mm -hmm. the vocabulary with you. So that's the two things that I will highly recommend. Other than that, Serena, you're doing great. You know that you're doing great. And I yeah. hope that you can graduate it and you can um, end the, the whole course, oh, right? Man. With the purpose that you have in your mind at the very beginning. And congratulations, okay? I know you will do it. I know you will do it. Don't stop. And thank you very much for your words, okay? Thank you. I really appreciate it. I don't know if there is any other question, any other comment, any other thing that I can do for you, Sabrina? No, I think there is there is no other, other, other comments. Everything is good and thanks. Thanks for everything. You're We're well. gonna miss you. <laughs> oh, I will miss you as well. You know, there are, no, there were more courses before. I have more courses. 
but not in Inglés Corporativo, it was with other programs that I left them because I was overloaded. I mean, I had a lot of work. I have two jobs. I'm still on the other job and I have this one, but I have more courses before, two more courses. And I had to let, I, I had to leave them. I had just this course right now and another one. So I had to leave no. the other ones. And I, I, I'm missing those guys already. It was like two months ago that I, I decided to leave them. But it was because I had too much work. And now I'm feeling the same <laughs> because I need to rest more and more. So I will miss you a lot, Serena, and thank you very much for everything, okay? Thank you, you teacher. Thanks to you for everything. <laughs> okay, Serena. So I hope you have an amazing night and thank you for your time, okay? Thank you, thanks to you, teachers. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Serenita. Bye-bye. Take night, care. Bye-bye.